Hey you, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at the lovely uh, new Figma release which is Asata, uh, Asata Mayo, I hope I got that right, and she's from the Little Armory. Now I don't think I've had an SP figure before so this will be kind of cool. So first of all let's have a look, we've got a lovely window display here, SP01, um, obviously again it's her name and Little Armory. Got some really lo uh, lovely artwork just there and some extra things which I've I, I don't know if I've seen them in, in a Figma before, but we get a load of cool things. So we get the actual figure, um, things that you get with her. I don't think we'll be cutting those out, so they'll be staying uh, as it is. Then we've got a lovely armory, which I don't think you get that inside it, but I think that tells you what you can get. But that does look kind of cool. And then we've got two different faces with uh, some information. Um, we've got what the figure looks like here, what the figure likes on top and then what the figure looks like on the bottom. So let's open up this bad girl and have a look inside. And here is Asato. I actually generally thought that this would be a, a nice figure. Um, I've just spent at least 10 minutes trying to reattach her legs to her body because when I pulled her out of the box, that was it. She just instantly, like the legs just fell out and I, didn't, I, I found that annoying, but we'll talk about that in a bit. So first of all, we can see that she's got an okay expression on her face, uh, her lovely kind of purple hair. Um, we've got the kind of like uh, radio that she needs to talk to people on which again looks kind of cool and Then we've got the kind of a school uniform. I really like this like blue bow I think this works really well and kind of like draws your attention to it uh, The blue goes along the kind of like I'm guessing collar um, or whatever it is and then we can see that you've got the um, straps to hold the, the ammunition um, stuff here. We've got a holster for the gun and then we've got more pouches for her to hold items if she wants to. We've got her arms which are kind of normal like and ruffled which looks absolutely fine and the kind of joints here look good as well as the elbow joints as well. Coming down to her skirt we can see here uh, that we've got more kind of pouches for her to put her weapons which I'm guessing would be the clips for her guns and then we've got her gloves which are kind of a very I, I would say like a pale colour, I don't know what colour, I, I, I want to say turquoise, it's not turquoise, uh, but it's very kind of like a cream, like a very light cream leather. Her skirt has ruffles in it as normal as most of them do, and you've got a white line that goes along there as well, which again is kind of nice. Uh, we've got her knee pads here, which are again like army green. And then it just leads straight into the, her kind of socks there. With her kind of shoes, they're kind of like a very soft plastic, which I don't normally see much in kind of figmas. Um, everything's kind of like a rock hard or kind of a very hard plastic. So there we go. We can see here there's uh, like kind of bows. So I actually do like the way they've done it. So if we tilt it slightly here, you can see there's a load of detail. Um, that moves. I generally thought that would be part of the shoe, but uh, oh well. Uh, we can see the laces kind of there as well as on top just there um, so I think that looks okay and then at the front you can see like there's meant to be mess um, just there and there. When we come to the back of the shoes we can see there's some more detail here and here and it looks absolutely fine um, and then there is a little bit of black that's not kind of painted so yeah I actually really didn't know that there's meant it looks like it's meant to be black all around there which haven't been painted which is uh which is a bit of a disappointment um probably the second thing I've seen so far um on this figure then we've got the kind of like the army bands that go around and then I don't know if you can see them in this light but you've got the joints that really kind of stand out a lot which doesn't look nice it looks kind of weird let's say that looking at the back of the figure we can see that there are gold buttons on a uh, there uh, on a sleeve as well as you've got two here we've got the holes where the stand goes in and then you've got the harness around it looks like her back is completely arched so you need to kind of move it forward a little bit um, but it looks okay and uh, the paintwork is a little bit sloppy around there which I'm very kind of like uh, about and then we've got the blue around the top and again there's a little bit more paint going into the figure so it looks like the, the paintwork hasn't been done properly on this one um, and you kind of think for a reissue they may have got it right for the first time and very quickly we can see that you've got the strands of hair at the back which look absolutely fine um, which I don't really mind I think it looks really cool rather than a soft plastic it looks like it's actually been sculpted one thing I don't kind of like is that you can see where it's been joined uh, the line hasn't been kind of faded out but again maybe it, this was on the first one as always we'll test out the articulation and see what it's like um, that feels like quite 
like doughy, um, like Play-Doh play or blue tack kind of rolling around. I'm not kind of liking it, but it feels okay. Um, something that I wouldn't accept, expect the others to have. Let's do knee joints. Now I'm holding this carefully because I don't want her legs to fall out. Um, but hopefully things will be okay. So it bends quite back quite a bit, like so. Okay, so let's try the legs. Again, that's what happened originally. I didn't like. Um, uh, so it might be an email to Good Smile and say, your entire figure for this one isn't that great. And then, see, this is this is what comes out way too much, way too quickly. Even when like the legs aren't fine, they're fine now. But again, it's not good. Um, and then you just attach it. You do get another skirt in a minute, so we can see that. So maybe it's because of that. So let's just try this. Like, so it doesn't move, so it's kind of fixed. So you'd have to really think. And there's no even click to this. Like, you know, when you push it in, it goes click. Um, so the arms go up and down. Arms go up and down. Head goes all the way around. And that's it. So I really wish it all clicked. It is okay to some degree, but again, this is another thing for me on the figure that I'm not liking that much. You only get one additional face, so let's just change it up and see what it is. Uh, so, add this one in, like that, and then add the hair back in. Um, which again, I, I can't really tell if there's a mouth slightly open, I think her eyes, but it generally has no kind of addition to it. I think that's kind of a shame. I, it feels to me like a very kind of bland figure, which is a shame because I've been looking forward to this one. Um, so you get kind of like a different skirt um, with her. So you're meant to pull out this add in it there and then basically it's meant to be maybe a twirling figure but again it's like it just doesn't connect properly it comes out way too much so maybe I got it the wrong way nope it's meant to go that way um, yeah I it doesn't really kind of add anything to it um, it just kind of adds it maybe she's knelt down so that she can take the shot with a gun or a sniper rifle or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I, I find that kind of a, a letdown. So I'm just going to change it back uh, to that one. Where again, like it's meant. To, I thought it was meant to click in a lot easier. But yeah, so that's that. That's pretty pretty much it. Now there's quite a lot of accessories. From what the pictures had seen online, you were meant to get a gun. Um, so you've got the A and B. Um, so this is just basically attaching the gun. I thought that they would have come directly already made in the box or like we've seen with other figures when they come with their accessories. So this one you have to build. So I'm very disappointed with this one. So I'm going to leave it in the bag because I don't want to build it. Um, from looking at the instructions, it says that you need um, your uh, like a knife, you need pliers and you need glue. So I, in a way, if this was advertised as a build your own kit, then I would have been fine. But because of that, it does kind of put me off. Um, some of the other stuff, if I show you, you get basically default stand as well as accessory for the figure. Um, and then obviously you get the hands and then you get the extra part there, which is absolutely fine. And then without trying to do it, like make it go down um, or fall out, these are the weapons that you get. So handgun, radio, accessory clips and stuff like that. Um, so I've kind of like left it out. Oh, and you also get, before I, before I forget, you also get the bag, um, which is pretty much open. I don't know if that's meant to be open or sealed, um, but yeah, apparently it looks like that. So yeah, that, that's, that's those are all the accessories that you get, which look good, but also kind of annoy me. And there we go, there is the figure. I've got to admit, I am very disappointed in this one, and I very rarely say that about Figma. Um, 
I don't think this is a very good one and I think this is something that I wouldn't collect again. Now I know that I've had a look at other ones like this um, out of the same range but I think I'm going to kind of like not even bother with it. The figure doesn't seem very interesting. Um, I don't like the fact that you have to build parts for it. I know that some people will love to do it. So if you like building them, that's cool, you know. But for this one, I'm not a huge fan of, um, especially with having to play with the uh, the legs to get them to fully like connect back to the figure. Um, I just generally don't think that this is a, a great figure. And I think that either it was rushed too quickly or the fact is this is a main problem with the joints. Um, so for me, this figure is just either going to be um, sold straight away or it's going to be kept for a while and then sold. Um, I don't particularly want this any figure and I won't be collecting the rest of the line, which is a shame because I like the way that all the pictures were. They looked really cool. Um, this is just not something that I like now and I know that I would be put off buying the rest, which I have been. Um, but if you like guns with girls and stuff like that, like this is a figure for you. Um, obviously, if you want to pose it differently, then that's absolutely fine. Um, I just kind of wish it did tell you on like the website that I bought it from, which is Nippon, saying like some parts would have to build because therefore it would change it. Not unless I didn't see that, but still, meh. It's a figure that I don't think I'll be collecting and I'm very let down by it. So Rangers, your question of the day is what do you think about this figure? Is this something that you would collect? Yes or no? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you've liked this video, like, favorite, comment, and consider subscribing. Check out all the other videos on the channel. If you want to help out the like button, if you want to hit the subscribe button, as well as the uh, notification bell, you'll be notified there'll be more videos when they drop. So there we go, Rangers. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.